What's going on guys? Welcome back to another hunting boot camp. Today we're going to be talking about blind bags. More specifically, what's in mine. Alright, let's pop the hood. I guess we'll start on the top of it here. So you can see, got this clipped. Little soft, soft case. This is what I keep my cameras in. Got my GoPros, got my mic up here, extra batteries, mem cards, all that good stuff. That goes on the top of my bag, and then I can just take it off or leave it there. So we get in the bag here. Start at the top part here. So right here, this is my duck journal. Uh, I've been doing this, I don't know, probably six years, seven years now. In it, I write, you know, I write location, the date, uh, number of birds seen, bat birds bagged, um, total for the year, just kind of the weather, and then I can enter it in in a, in a program later on and kind of follow the migration, see, you know, see what years and what weather patterns work for different species and just birds in general. Moving on, game carrier. These are really helpful for when you got to pack in a long ways. You know, when I take my kayak, not that big a deal, I can just put the birds in the kayak, but when I'm walking or somewhere, you know, you can just keep, it's a good way to keep all your birds together. So, there's that. Nebraska rule book, or any state rule book, depends where I'm hunting, I guess, but this is the one I have from last season. It's just got, you know, guides, regs, all that stuff for the different species of waterfowl, season dates, stuff like that. All right. So, we'll go front part. Hot hands, I don't always have these in there. You know, early season, don't need them, but late season, these are nice. Keep, make, make staying out all day a little better. Then I got a saw, just in case I need to cut any brush down, you know, brush up a blind or something, or even cut cattails down. I've done that before with that, so that's pretty handy. Go side pocket here. There's the jerk string. You just saw that last week comes in pretty handy when there's no wind and this this is my spare bolt handle as you know I've talked about on my Remington Versamax review the bolt handle flew out this is the one that Remington sent me and I keep it in my bag just in case the one I ordered flies out so that's all the side pockets and all that stuff now we'll get into the good stuff here so here, this is one of my GoPro clamps with a battery pack. This is for my Hero 5 Black GoPro. There's that one. And then this is the one I put on my head. It's got a six hour battery pack. You know, just, just like so. Just keep that in there for easy, easy access. These are something I really like. They're a little bulky, but in the wintertime, they, you know, they keep your ears a little warmer too, but they also uh, amplify sound, you know, they got, you turn this on and it amplifies sound and deadens shotgun blasts, you know, so I don't go to death when I'm 40. Got my calls here, my call lanyard, got a long read and a short read goose call and then just two uh, duck calls with the whistle over under Primo's whistle. Uh, let's see, what's this? This is a zinc power hen. And then this is a zinc, uh, I want to say it's power plucker. Yeah. And this is a big river game call. Just long read, really hard to blow. Read's broken right now, actually. So, <laughs> see, doesn't work. Need to get a new one of those. Headlamp, you know, being out early or being out late, you got to see what you're doing. So, pretty self explanatory there. Spare pack of gloves, or spare set of gloves, you know. Uh, usually I'll have even another one, decoy gloves. Put, got those put away for the season already, but this is for like, you know, field hunt stuff. Boxes of shotgun shells. Right now I got BB in. This is from goose season still. Uh, it varies from four to two to BB, depending on what time of the year it is and what I'm shooting at, or, you know, going after. 
And finally, binoculars. You know, you got to check out the birds coming in or, you know, what's off in the distance. And that is what's in my blind bag. I guess I probably should also mention what kind of blind bag this is. This is a banded blind bag. I'm not sure of the exact model. I'll try to find it online and put a link in the description. Check out that. I'll also link, you know, all this stuff in the description too so you can find out exactly what I use. And if you want to go get some yourself, let me know if you want to hear a review about any, any certain product I use. I'll be more than happy to do one of these in the future for them. And uh, we will catch you next time. See ya.